The fate of Lester Parker and Billy Tucker are in the hands of the jury tonight. Both men deny any involvement in Hamilton firefighter Patrick Walterman's death. As Brad Underwood reports, now they wait to see if 12 people believe them. The prosecution lays it out for the jury. Lester Parker came up with the plan. He was in a financial hole and needed someone to burn down his house to collect the insurance money. And it was his nephew, Billy Tucker, according to the prosecutors, who would get the job in exchange for pills. While the evidence in this case is circumstantial, Butler County Prosecutor Mike Mosier points to the silver bullet of evidence, a phone call between Parker and Tucker the morning of the fire. How long does it take to say, hey Lester, is Billy, is, is the deal still on? Is the gas can where it's supposed to be and the kills, pills downstairs? Are you going to Las Vegas? You can accomplish that in less than 27 seconds. On the day of the fire, Billy is calling Lester out of the blue. Patrick Walterman had only been with the Hamilton Fire Department for eight months. His family has been in the court for the trial, as have members of the fire department. Parker's attorney, David Washington, cautioned the jurors to check their emotions and focus on the facts of the case. This isn't about the payback. This isn't about seeing people in uniform and think that you have to do something about it. That's not what this is about. And while we respect the service, while we respect the position, we also have to respect the process and do your job as you promised that you do. Now, both men took the stand in their own defense during the trial. Just before we saw the jurors leave this evening, they did have a question asking to have transcripts of the entire trial. The judge says that he could not do that, and the members now must rely on their memory. Rob? Brad, thanks very much. The jurors will be back to deliberate at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning.